delayed in starting. Good morning all and blessed Lent on this Friday after Ash Wednesday. And I thought uh, we continue, uh, we start on Ash Wednesday talking about Lenten practices and prayer in particular because uh, one of my favorite readings came up in the office today. I put the text of it uh, underneath the Facebook post. And I'll put a link to it uh, for the YouTube video. But it comes from John Chrysostom. And he talks about the value of prayer. How important prayer is in our life. So I'll just read a couple of little highlights. Prayer and converse with God is the supreme good. It is a partnership and union with God. As the eyes of the body are enlightened when they see light, so our spirit, when it is intent on God, is illumined by His infinite light. I do not mean the prayer of outward observance, but prayer from the heart not confined to fixed times or periods, but continuous throughout the day and night. It's our longing for God. You know, and so he's encouraging, you know, this is written in the fourth century, encouraging the people that he's preaching to, to be people of prayer. Prayer is the light of the spirit, true knowledge of God, mediating between God and man. The spirit, raised up to heaven by prayer, clings to God with the utmost tenderness, like a child crying tearfully for its mother. It craves the milk that God provides. It seeks the satisfaction of its own desires and receives gifts outweighing the whole of nature. You know, and of course, I've, I've said this before, we are praying for communion with God. We are praying to uh, understand God's will for us and carry it out. You know, we are striving for loving obedience to a God who is exceptionally generous to us. You know, one of our things we're trying not to do is change God. God doesn't need to change. We need to change. And, and to keep that clear in, in, our, um, in our understanding. A couple more little highlights. Um, prayer stands before God as an honored ambassador. It gives joy to the spirit, peace to the heart. I speak of prayer, not words. It is a longing for God, love too deep for words, a gift not given by man, but by God's grace. The Apostle Paul says, We do not know how we are to pray, but the Spirit himself pleads for us with inexpressible longings. And his final little paragraph. Practice prayer from the beginning. Paint your house with the colors of modesty and humility. Make it radiant with the light of justice, decorate it with the finest gold leaf of good deeds, adorn it with walls and stones of faith and generosity, crown it with the pinnacle of prayer. In this way, you will make it a perfect dwelling place for the Lord. You will be able to receive him as in a splendid palace, and through his grace, you will already possess him, his image enthroned in the temple of your spirit. It's a wonderful image of prayer creating a dwelling place for, for God to come. And it's been one of my reoccurring themes before Lent, that faith gives God the freedom to act in our lives. And prayer creates a place of meeting with God. God is always with us whether we're praying or not. Prayer is our awakening to the presence of God with us at all times and responding to that presence. Probably should have turned on the overhead light. A little darker this morning but we want to pray because we all know God we want to be with God you know this, this is one of the questions to ask if you never pray in this life you never seek God out you have zero desire for God in this life why would you desire him in the next and it won't be a case well God's better than hell you won't be able to tell the difference if you were totally out of practice and, and that's why we want to pray, because we want to awaken to this mysterious God who's called us uh, into being, called us into discipleship, and has called us to be a vessel of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Trinity is waiting to dwell in us and affect all those things in our life. 
Make us a beloved son or daughter. Strengthen us for the work of discipleship. And then be, be amazed at the subtle promptings of the Holy Spirit. Those are the things that God is waiting to affect in us. We want to pray and be converted. So anyway, blessed Friday. Uh, we have a fish fry tonight, so <laughs> plug for that. Uh, if you're in, in the uh, realm of New Melly, starting at 4.30 and going to uh, 7 o'clock, I believe, or 6, maybe 6.30. I have to check on that. Anyway, blessed Friday, y'all.